Alright guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today I'm looking at the last beer that was sent to me by Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews when I was back in the UK. Um, yeah, massive, massive thanks to Dean for sending me these beers. A couple of them um, I just would not have been able to have probably get my, got my whole, got my hands on. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd bring the last one back with me. And uh, this is a beer from Thornbridge, and this is the Bell Raven. Is that? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, inspired by the Peak District. And uh, yeah, Val Raven or Val Ravin, I'm not too sure how it is properly pronounced, is an Imperial Black IPA clocking in at 8.8%. And the hops used are Nelson Sorvin, Centennial, Sriracha Ace, excuse me, and Ella, which I'm not too familiar with. And uh, yeah, nice uniform looking label. And uh, yeah, now they're in 330 ml bottles, which is a little bit of a shame because it's always good to have a little bit of extra beer. But not that I'm complaining. So uh, yeah, already reviewed. Um, one of the Imperial Stouts, which was the other Thornbridge beer that um, Dean sent to me, and I reviewed Jaipur. And uh, yeah, so far, a very solid brewery. So um, yeah, black IPAs, won't lie, not my favourite style of IPA. But I did watch Dean's review uh, before I knew I was getting this beer. And uh, yeah, he had a, an interesting take. So it's an interesting take on the style, apparently. But uh, yeah, fairly recent release as of the time of me recording this. And uh, yeah, back in Germany, it's absolutely freezing outside. I was going to say something else. Uh, yeah, it's been at points like towards minus 20 here in Bavaria. I think today it's about minus 6, but it's probably going to be a little bit colder um, now that it's the evening. I've got the apartment to myself for tonight, so I've got a few beers, and I thought I'd shoot a few reviews, because I've not actually shot a review since I came back from England, even though I did a review on the day leaving England, so it's not been that long since I've you know recorded the review. Not that I even needed to record one, because I've got shit tons to upload, but that is the case. It's always good to have videos when... You know, it's better to have a boatload of videos than none at all, so I'm not in the rush to buy much beer. Uh, well, that's that's the story I'm sticking to anyway. Anyway, I, I'm waffling on already. So, uh, yeah, once again, massive, massive thank you to Dean for sending me these beers. Uh, links down below to his channel, as well as his review, and I think a couple of my uh, fellow UK beer tubers have reviewed this one as well. If so, links will be down below, because it's all about promoting channels. So, beer in a glass, and uh, yeah, not completely jet black. Uh, in fact, it's like got like a nice sort of oaky colour to it, with some really nice vibrant red hues when you hold it up to the light. Almost has a slight sense of like a very like dark black currant sort of look to it, um, from where I'm standing anyway. And uh, yeah, there's sort of, I don't know if it's my eyes playing with me, but there's like an ever, ever so slight, like, berry hue to that head, which is predominantly um, like a, an eggshell. And uh, yeah, it didn't really pour with too much head, but that's never a problem. So let's see what we get on the aroma. And I'm getting like stuff like blackberries currants a little bit of cranberry but then those hops definitely come in and there's uh sort of like an orange peel aroma in there as well a little bit of a vininess i get like a smell of a ribena almost as well or one of those sort of fruit juice drinks but yeah very berry like um it's not as dark or as like roasty as I was expecting it to be, especially being labelled as an Imperial Black IPA. But it's definitely a lot more hoppy, but it has got those dark fruits in there, but it's not like a dense fruity aroma. 
But yeah, it smells really, really nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. And just like I was getting on the aroma, getting a lot of forest fruits, lots of berries in there. There's almost like a, a licorice sort of character there as well. It's a little bit prickly. You get bitterness right from the off. A really quite punchy bitterness as well. And that sort of turns into a slight alcohol warmth as it goes down. But that being said, it doesn't really drink like an 8.8% .8 beer. If you look past that sharpness, it's actually really quite drinkable. But yeah, definitely hoppy. It's got a little bit more vibrancy than what I would associate with a black IPA. But at the same stretch, it's not like what you would expect with a regular IPA. It's not as vibrant or as uh, light on flavour as you'd expect from like a Jaipur, which is a very, you know, solid, standard craft IPA. This almost ramps up the bitterness replaces those slightly tropical flavours with more like forest fruits, uh, stuff that you get in like a black forest gatto, like cherries, maraschino cherries, currants, blackberries, that sort of thing. And there's like maybe a slight, slight smokiness on the back end. Excuse me. Almost like a woody character, which just finishes off the beer really quite nicely. And uh, yeah, it's a perfect IPA for the winter time, but it's not as heavy or as dense or as like roasty and malty and chocolatey as some black IPAs can be. So let's just pour the rest in. Almost came out like a, a light chocolate milkshake then. But yeah, very prickly on the lips on the tongue. It's got a nice medium body to it. Again, going back to the Black IPA, you might be expecting a little bit more of a heavier body. But this has the, the body and the drinkability of like a regular IPA coming in at around 5 to 6%. Like I said, the only real alcohol presence you get is a very subtle one on the back end as it goes down, so it warms you up. But you still get those nice, slightly vibrant, but more in a forest fruit sort of way, fruity tones and hoppy tones. And yeah, I think this is one of those beers that, if you're a fan of the Black IPA, it might not be completely to your taste. But I suppose when it comes to craft brewing, it's all about breaking boundaries and trying new stuff and experiment, experimentation. And thankfully, at the end of the day, they've come out with a very solid uh, IPA indeed. So it's like sort of like the best of both worlds, almost like a nice come between of the two styles that I've been talking about. And very, very solidly brewed. Um, is it a perfect beer? No, I'm not completely 100% sure if I really, really like it. But it's well above average. Very solid beer. Very drinkable. And if I saw it again, I would pick it up. So in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this maybe uh, an 8 out of 10. Got a little bit more slight tropical fruits then. And a very slight resininess. So I think it's one of those beers that it can just change as you're drinking it and change your perception of what it is. But predominantly, I am getting those darker berry fruits, like raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, cherries, uh, dried out fruits as well, like currants, that sort of thing, raisins, um, 
a slight grape like quality as well. But yeah, very solid brew indeed, and uh, yeah, a very solid end to a run of four fantastic beers sent to me by the equally, if not more fantastic, Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews, who hopefully by the time I upload this will have uh, received the beers that I've picked up for him. And uh, yeah, Dean, like I said, mate, thank you very, very much for this, as well as the other beers. They've all been great. My personal favourite has been the uh, $10 Shake. But I think that was going to be the beer that would impress me the most anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is very, very solid indeed. So guys, if you haven't done so already, Dean's link is down below. And like I said, anybody who um, has reviewed this, their links will be down below also. As well as the usual stuff where you can go find out about the brewery and this beer for yourself. So if you've tried this one, let me know your thoughts, opinions. What's your favourite Thornbridge beer? And uh, yeah, what's your favourite Black IPA? Because even though it's not my favourite style, I'm never going to stop drinking it. I'll always try new ones. So uh, yeah, just hit me up in the comments. So thank you guys for watching. And I seem to have got a very bulbous head because of this haircut. See you guys later.